And in the wake of this uh, April ferry disaster, the Korean Prime Minister's uh, announced plans for a new committee aimed at radically remodeling this country. Choi Yoo-sun reports. The government has put forth a new plan to have civilians take part in President Park's national reform drive. Having the government and civilians take part in the National Reform Committee under the Prime Minister's office, I plan to establish a joint participation system. In an address to the nation Tuesday, the Prime Minister said the committee will gather public opinion on reforms on ways to improve national safety and rooting out social corruption. This comes after President Buck pledged sweeping reforms within the government and the public sector in response to April's deadly ferry disaster. Chung added the committee will mainly focus on bolstering public awareness and safety inspections. After a thorough discussion at the committee, we will finalize a master plan on safety innovation, a blueprint for a safer Korea by next February. Vowing to set a framework for public reform within the month, the prime minister also urged the parliament to support a swift passage of government restructuring and reform-related bills. A key part of President Buck's restructuring plan includes establishing a safety ministry to oversee management of all forms of natural and man-made disasters. Prime Minister Chung, who was retained after he resigned to take responsibility for the government's lax response to the ferry accident, also promised the public that he would communicate better with the people as well as political parties and not hesitate in delivering public opinion to the president. Choi Yoo-sun, Arirang News.